Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to find the adjoint of your matrix. To find the adjoint of your matrix you need to know how to find the minus and cofactors of your matrix. You also need to know how to take the transfers of a matrix. So in this tutorial we are going to restrict the discussion based on 2x2 matrix and 3x3 matrix. So let me represent a matrix of the order 2x2 to explain what an adjoint is all about. Okay, so first we have a 2x2 two two matrix A that has these entries 2, 3, 4, and negative 2. We want to find the adjoint of this matrix, which is donated by ADJ. So this represents the adjoint of this matrix. The adjoint of this matrix is nothing but just the B transpose. And what is this B? This B is just the cofactors of this matrix A. B. So step by step, first thing you need to do is to find the cofactors of all the entries. Secondly, take the transfers of the cofactors and you are done because that is said to be the adjoint of the matrix A. So now let us find the adjoint of this matrix A. Okay, let's start by finding the cofactors. Cofactor of matrix A, which we donate as B. This is going to be, uh, remember what we introduced the other time. Uh, this is going to be positive, negative, negative, positive. Um, wherever the combination is even, you have positive sign. You know, this is first row, first column, one plus one is two. Second row, second column, two plus two is four. But this is second row, first column, two plus one is three, odd. First row, second column, one plus two is three. So this is why these are uh, negatives, while this remain positive. Okay, to find the cofactor of each entry, we are going to delete the row and column of that element. So we delete this because we are starting with this. We delete this, we delete that. This is what we have left negative 2. This negative 2 is going to be multiplied by positive sign is still negative 2. Moving on, we have the first row, second column. We delete this, we delete that. What we have is 4. Multiply it by this negative sign. We have negative 4. Coming down here, you delete this, you delete that. What we have is 3. Multiply by a negative sign, we have negative 3. Then the last but not the least, we delete this, we delete that. This is what we have as 2. 2 multiplied by positive is still positive 2. So this is the cofactors of all these entries. And therefore, the adjoint of this matrix A that we are looking for is nothing but B transpose, where B is said to be the cofactor of matrix A. How do we find the transpose of a matrix is by interchanging the rows and the columns of that matrix. So we take this first row, we assign it as the first column. We take the second row, assign it as the second column. Finally, adjoint of this matrix A is now equal to, you know, they are going to be of the same dimension. Uh, negative two, negative four should be in this first column. The negative three, positive 2. And hence this is said to be the adjoint of this matrix A. But there is a shortcut for finding the adjoint of 2x2 two two matrix in case of objective questions. So first we want to find the adjoint of this matrix A. It is just going to be of the form. Uh, we swap this diagonal element two and negative two, we swap them. So this becomes negative two, while this remains positive. Then we multiply these other diagonals by negative one. This becomes negative four, this becomes negative three. Just compare them, they are exactly the same. But this is not allowed in case of theory questions. You have to follow the traditional way. So now let us take three by three matrix and see how we can find the adjoint of three by three matrix. So first we have this matrix A and we want to find uh, the adjoint of this matrix. First of all, we need to find the cofactors. 
of all the entries. So the cofactor of matrix A will be and now let us represent our sign, you know, we have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So each entry we obtain, we multiply by the corresponding sign. Okay, let's begin with this element here. We are going to delete this first row and the first column, but we are left with four elements, unlike in two by two that we do use to obtain a single element. Since we obtain uh, four elements here, we are going to take the determinant of that four elements. So three times three will give us nine. You subtract one times two is two, and this is equal to seven. Then seven multiplied by positive is still seven. We have seven here. Moving on to first row, second column, we have this deleted, we have that deleted. This is what we have. We find the determinant of that. Two times three is six minus negative one times two is negative two. Negative, negative is positive. This is equal to eight. But the sign there is negative. We multiply it by this eight. We have negative eight. First row, third column, we delete this and that. This is what we have left. We find the determinant by multiplying diagonally. Two times one is two minus negative one times three is negative three. If you join them together, we have five. Uh, the sign there is positive, so this will not change. We have five. All right, second row, first column. We delete this, we delete that. This is what we have. Zero times three is zero, minus one times four is four. This is equal to negative four. But what is the sign there? It's negative. It will change this to positive. We have four here. Moving on to uh, the second row, second column. We delete this, we delete that. This is what we have. Let's find the determinant of those four elements. One times three is three minus. Negative one times four is negative four. Join them together, we have seven. Uh, the position is still positive, so we have seven here. Moving on, second row, third column, we delete this and that. We have this left. Find the determinant one times one is one minus negative one times zero is still zero, and this is equal to one. The sign there is negative, so multiply by this, we have negative one. Third row, first column. This is third row, this is first column, we delete them. This is what we have left. Determine as zero times two is zero, minus this time this is 12, so we have negative 12. This is positive, it will not change the value. We have negative 12 here. Third row, second column. We delete this, we delete that. This is what we have. Determinant should be one times two, which is two minus this time that is eight. This is negative six. What is the sign there? It's negative, it will change this to positive six. And the last but not the least, the third row, third column, you delete them. This is what we have left. One times three is three, minus two times zero is zero, and this is equal to three. The sign there is positive, so you don't need to change the sign. We still have three. So we are done. These are said to be the respective cofactors of these entries. So what do we do next? Is to find the transfers of the cofactors. The transpose, which is just the adjoint of what we are looking for. So transpose of the cofactors is said to be the adjoint of our original matrix. And therefore this is equal to, you know they are going to remain of the same dimension. Take this first row, transform them into the first column here. 7, negative 8, and 5. Then 4, 7, 
negative 1. Then lastly, we have negative 12, 6, and 3. This is the transpose of the cofactors, and this is said to be the adjoint of our original matrix. So this is the adjoint of matrix A. So this is exactly the traditional way of finding the adjoint of a matrix. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos.